Hello everyone and welcome once again to K-Tapes. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. Uh, today is Saturday so I thought maybe we should do a little video. Hope this time, uh, I'm sorry if I always go over like 20 minutes and sometimes maybe you get bored and you skip some stuff. So I'm gonna try to get down to the point today. Go with the essential and then wrap it up within I hopefully less than 20 minutes so let's start right away with a movie that I want to talk to you about uh, today it is not a rare film well although the tape is getting a bit harder to find like well let's say every Korean tapes um, but this movie uh, has been released only in Hong Kong on on DVD if I remember correctly, not if I remember correctly, I do remember correctly, it only has been released on DVD in Hong Kong. And there's a Korean tape of that same movie. And that's it. There's nothing else. It hasn't been released anywhere else. So that leaves us with pretty much one release, which is the Korean tape. So there's only one VHS release and it's this one. The movie is called Shackle or Chains, I guess. Uh, that's another alternative title. It came out in 2000. The VHS is from 2000, I believe. Maybe 2001? No, two late 2000 here, to be very precise. Late 2000, and it features this actress here, Ryu Mio. Yeah, it sounds very Japanese, to be honest. Um, this girl, very pretty girl, by the way, she was... Uh, she was extremely popular back then because she did a whole bunch of things like uh, she was modeling. She even had like a book with uh, like some of her like naked pictures and so on. So she was like your typical calendar girl. So she was hugely popular for like adult entertainment, but she didn't do like that many films. She did a few erotic films, but I would say maybe... I don't know, I haven't found them all, but I, I, I'm guessing about like maybe mo not more than five movies. And she did some mainstream stuff. So this movie here is a mainstream film. And what's very interesting about this film actually is that in the late 90s in Korea, erotic films were kind of exploding. Well, they exploded in early 90s, to be honest, or mostly mid 90s. But by the end of 1990, there was the IMF crisis in Korea, which was like it devastated like the whole country like financially um, and those films had kind of a success abroad and in film festivals and so on so I would say Korea became more adventurous with those like adult films so to speak or erotic titles um, just to mention maybe one or two there was Yellow Hair uh, that film had a tremendous success in Korea and also it there's a Chinese DVD of that as well, and probably a Japanese DVD, I'm guessing. But it was really popular. It's, you know, it's kind of like uh, Broken Youth and stuff like that. A little bit like the uh, Larry Clark films, like Kids, uh, Bully, things like that. So there were like a couple of those films back in the early 2000s. Um, there was another one by uh, Jang Song-woo. I, I totally forgot the title right now. Uh, there was a film called Nunmul, which means tears. There was another example of uh, savage youth, uh, you know, like smoking, having sex, doing drugs and stuff. This one is not in that same category, although this movie is more like a um, erotic thriller, so to speak. Uh, it has like murders, has some kung fu in it. Of course, it has sex. Uh, it has everything. It's 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 quite of a mixed bag, and especially with the opening credit where you see the main actress running naked in in like plain daylight in Gangnam, and they shot that. It's it's pretty unique, pretty special. Also, one thing that is worth noting about this actress and related, to, I believe, with that movie is that she insured her breast for a million dollars. Not a million one, that would make like about a thousand dollars, but a million dollars. So anyway, very interesting story about this film. I believe she did only one other mainstream film after this one, or one or two. Um, and they were a bit like uh, sexual as well. 
But this one is, is the one that uh, I kind of remind, I, I reminded this one like back in 2006. I, re I remember, I mean, seeing that in Montreal Chinatown on, on Hong Kong DVD. So if you look at the, at the tape itself, you see it's a little bit like, get some racy pictures in there. She's all chained up and stuff. Um, but it's not an adult film. Like I'm saying, it's not like an erotic film. It's, it's really a mainstream film. If we look at the tape, once again, pretty cool. A nice tape. So yeah, this one is not that hard to find right now, but it's getting a bit harder to find. And the main reason I want to talk about this one today is because the uh, DVD, the Hong Kong DVD that came out happens to be a little bit different than this tape. By that, I mean like the, the main points, of course, there are subtitles on the DVD. The DVD is widescreen. This is full screen, doesn't have any subtitles, but the colors are totally different. I mean, the Hong Kong DVD messed up badly. It's, it's all blue. Anyway, we'll, we'll take a quick look at that after this. And also another thing is they changed some music around. So maybe it was too goofy from the Korean version. So they changed it more to what was in the taste at the time for like Hong, uh, Hong Kong films, more like category three type of stuff. Actually, it does look like a bit like a category three type of film at the same time. So maybe that's why it had that appeal for a Hong Kong audience. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much it for, for this film. Once again, the act, main actress Ryu Mio was extremely famous at the time. Uh, she did a whole bunch of stuff, uh, like from photo shoots, a uh, couple of erotica films. Uh, she was pretty, pretty cute. And she also did like a play or two um, in Seoul. Uh, but the thing is, she, she sort of vanished. I mean, she, she got out of the public eye and she's now in the let's say like the what happened to type of file. We, we don't know where she is, what happened to her. And I think she got out of the uh, public eye around like 2002 or three. And after that, who knows what happened to her. Uh, so that's it. So anyway, let's have a look and compare both the DVD and this Korean release of The Shackle. 